alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed that little intro with Mulan meeting Mulan. That is what we came here for. Um, so I am just with Joey Beth and Miss Lucy, and now we're in the DVC lounge. We're gonna chill out. These two have never been here before. Fun. First impressions? This lampshade is from Ikea. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know. Uh -huh. If you want to decorate to it. The, the way of the DC lounge, we were just talking about how the chairs look so comfy, and they are so comfy. And I would definitely buy one for my house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. Are we looking at the water today? <laughs> We're back to see Mulan. Well, come right on over here. Can I take your hand over here? <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Well, you're going to have to keep up your warrior moves, won't you? We did a little costume change. Yeah. And now we're on a mission for popcorn. <laughs> True. <laughs> Buffalo blue cheese. What do you think, Luce? Spicy? <laughs> oh, she likes it. Is your face red? Let me try it. Not spicy at all. Yeah. It's delicious, that's what it is. It was just a week ago when this was all grass. So we're getting it all ready for flower and garden. Head of Mickey over there. Head of Mickey right here. My, my part of flower Yeah. My sad thing is like I love Festival of the Arts and it's so short. So this is like definitely creeping in on it, but it's coming. Our fingers are already <laughs> oh, no, I was like, our lips are probably really red. Right. And um, Peter just got off of work, so he's gonna meet us here. And guess who scored us a Frozen Ever After Fast Pass? She surprised me. I know. I'm. I don't know. It just popped up. My key, like, the only reason I'm like great at Fast Passes, is because I just refresh. Like, I yeah. just sit there and like toggle back between How do you the times. Do you, like pull it down and refresh, or are you? Just no, like I like change the time. Like okay. I click five o'clock, five thirty. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's just a lot of patience, I guess. All right, I apologize for this section of the vlog not being the highest quality, but I'm on, I'm actually using an iPhone 6S right now. But I had to film this on my phone because I'm impatient and I was on my way home from work. And so I decided to stop at the PO box a little bit out of the way, but I was like, I just feel like going. We got something and it's from our friends over at The Escape Effect. So uh, we will put a link over here of the last time we went. So the escape effect is a newer, um, like, escape room, escapology. There's a, they're kind of popping up in a, a lot of cities. They're becoming more popular. It's like um, a live game where you go in a room. There's puzzles and mystery and, like, all these cool things you have to do to get out of the room. To so, like, you do puzzles and scenarios to work your way through. And they're themed different things. And we were able to go when they opened up like we were they invited us and we brought some friends to go do it for like their opening and i don't know what this is but i had to open it up because i'm impatient so i'm sorry sarah but i'll call you right after i open this so inside the tube look at this it's like looks like old fabric and like this rope and a wax seal i gotta break that I got it open. Look at this. Hear ye, hear ye. Noble knights and fair ladies, the honor of your presence is requested at the grand opening of our new medieval game, Orlando's first two-hour escape room. Our media preview festivities will be held February 20, 20th, 21st, and 22nd at the escape effect. Respondeth thou to reserve your time slot at that phone number. Ooh. We 
been playing this beautiful music here at Epcot for the last 37 years. <coughs> Thanks to all of you who come to see us play. So thank you so much for being here. Wow, wow, wow. So I came straight from work. So I actually, Lucy, or Lucy, Sarah is still with Lucy and Joey Beth. They're heading to Norway. So it's, it's like 510. I got here in phenomenal speed from work. And because of that, since they're going to do a fast pass for Frozen, I'm going to try to dip on over real quick to the lounge because I think it closes at 6. I'm going to try to get me a weekday, a weekday, a hump day. DVC Lounge Coffee. I hope they let me in. I hope they don't, I don't know if they like tend to close early or anything. I don't think they do, but we shall see. Yes, we've made it. We made it safe and sound. It is open till six today. They said no, they would never close early. So I like my coffee, one cream, no sugar. This was literally perfect timing because they came by with the snacks. I didn't miss the snack cart. So I'm literally grabbing this and going down the stairs over there. To go to Norway to meet the girls. Ooh, tasty. I'm eating my coffee and my ammo crackers in the go. But look at. I'm assuming Sarah got this if they went this way with the good camera. So are getting it all ready for flower and garden. But just in case, I'm gonna get it during the daytime. They're getting ready for flower and garden. I uh, don't mind my hair. Sometimes when it gets long, it does that weird flippy thing. But flower and garden, I love. I just love Festival of the Arts more, but I don't know guys, Flower and Garden and Festival of the Arts like are very neck and neck. Festival of the Arts just has that one little bit of magic higher to me than Flower and Garden. So, but I am really pumped for Flower and Garden because it's a beautiful time, it means it's springtime here, and they have delicious food. I just saw the girls, I got Joy Beth's backpack, so while they're on the ride, it's actually, I didn't know this, it's actually Lucy Pearl's first time on Frozen, so that's cool that Sarah will be there with the camera and everything. But I'm gonna go hang out in the shops. I love these shoes. I'll show them in a second. I really wanna, like next time I like need a pair of shoes, I'm gonna like splurge, spend a little bit extra, get nice durable Norwegian shoes for like the wet, the rain and stuff down here. It's both of my first sit on her lap so you can see. Wow. Are you ready? Whatever the HH brand is. I don't know what the HH brand is, but something like these. Also, Norwegian soda and like non alcoholic Christmas wine and berries. Ligon berries. I need to try all of this and all of this and all of this. And definitely the do our best. I'm like, do our best. Hello. Hello. I'm with the girls on the good camera. We're finally all together. Oh, they're back there. Um, it's kind of awesome to come here straight from work like that to meet Sarah. I told Sarah that that's what our like envision of when we have two cars and when we have ch multiple children or even just one that like I could meet because we're not going to stay out late with when we have kids probably all the time. But I feel like we'll end up coming to the parks almost as much. And it was kind of cool to see how that felt to come straight from work to the park because that's what we're gonna end up doing. Like Sarah will probably come to the parks with the kids while I'm at work, and then I can just leave work and meet them here because we'll have two cars and we won't want to stay out super late. So that was kind of cool to get like that feeling of how it feels, but hear the music, see all the beautiful sounds, see all the beautiful sounds, see all the beautiful colors. But I don't know how much longer we're staying here, but I, we're, I want to do at least one lap around World Showcase, then I think we might head out. We're showing Lucy Pearl as many of the Festival of the Arts stickers as we can. Uh, and Cookie! 
Lucy Polo, you got something on your cheek. Did Mulan give you a smooch? Holy smokes. It is like more pink, like Pride Land sunset. Like the sky is literally like more unreal than usual. Second popcorn stand of the night. Maple. Canada. What do you think, Lou? Do you like it? Is it good? She's like, where's my spicy buffalo? You know that in buffalo? South America, they get sweet popcorn? Like, that's their normal sweet. I believe that. And they add, and they add like, um, they add, like, spices to their desserts. Yeah. Remember, because Christina was doing oh, yeah, that for a while. She She's putting the, that powder yeah. on, like, ice cream. Yeah. Or, like, or, like sorbet. Stuff. Like, the sorbet, mango. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, mango sorbet with, like, seasoning on it. Mmm. Is it so delicious? Jessica just bought, bought a bottle of the, is it tahini? Yeah, uh-huh. Yes. It's, like a, it's delicious. I haven't yeah. tried it, but she just bought it. You yeah. think it's not going to be good, but it's delicious. Delish. If I was this girl's parent, <laughs> she'd be trying Beverly right now. <laughs> She's already had Coke today. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't do that without Josh. We're home. We're home. It's been about three hours. Um, I did the dishes. We had dinner. We have Eve. Sarah has hot, hot cocoa from our friends that sent us all the great stuff from uh, Furlongs. Mm -hmm. But we were going to go out to Disney Springs. We were going to go see The Upside. But I think we're just going to chill at home. Maybe go watch some TV. I have, I have an idea about a movie I want to buy on Apple TV. But um, I have a headache in my eye. Like down my neck so we want to get ahead of that but also did you say in the vlog about the new appointment no so i think we got the results did we say yesterday Was yeah. it? so yesterday's vlog we told you that we're, i'm not we're not matching for the same carrier diseases so we get to put, move forward in the process for this ivf study the rita study so we booked or like scheduled our consultation for that on monday yeah which like we said that we would have to wait again but they emailed back today. And they're like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, it's just been a, a hard couple days oh. still. You know, like the whole, this whole journey is full of ups and downs. And overall, we're super positive and super happy. But yeah. sometimes, you got a heavy heart. Sometimes you get a heavy heart. And when that happens, you look at your doggy. You look at your little dog who's mad at you for not giving her not hot chocolate. <laughs> This is what our night has turned to. We bought Hook on Apple TV. Peter Pan just returned. Sarah fell asleep an hour ago. I have a cup of tea. I think I finally made the decision that I'm gonna begin the process of getting an MBA. I have literally just begun looking into this. I don't know if this is where I'm gonna go, but I know I have to like take something called the GMAT, and I know that like you have to prepare for that and look at all the like logistics and everything. But I figure I'm only gonna get busier in life, so why not start now? All right, today's the 13th. Today's daily message: Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to become. Steve Jobs. I love a good Steve Jobs quote. All right, it's a solo sign-off for me tonight. Um, Eve and Sarah are both asleep like I just showed you. But Eve started having a nightmare and started crying. So I went over to check on her and she woke up, but she's doing better. But I'm going to get those two girls situated for bed and get myself ready for bed. It's later than I expected. I watched all of Hook and then got like down the Google trail of nonsense so i'm just going to say it here thank you for following along with us today i think the girls had a great day at epcot i loved hopping in at the end to meet them up and uh it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions